I was trying out some exam questions from my Java 101 class in ChatGPT, and I got a few erroneous answers. The interesting part is that ChatGPT seemed to understand the right way to evaluate the code while still doing it wrong and not recognizing the incongruity. In this circumstance, a.length minus 2 calculates to 3. Functionally, the second line of code is equivalent to a.substring 3, 3, which returns an empty string. ChatGPT seems to get this, but still says it will return LO. Let's clarify the starting index with ChatGPT. OK, ChatGPT gets that it starts at 3, and it volunteered that it also ends at 3. Let's ask where the substring ends. Basically, the same answer. In both cases, it correctly stated that the second number is exclusive. Let's see if it recognizes that the starting and ending values are the same. It does, but now it says that the substring will return a single character. That's different from its original answer. It's closer, but it's still wrong. Let's ask ChatGPT what happens when a substring starts and ends at the same index. OK, it realizes that such a situation would return an empty string, but can't apply that knowledge to the piece of code we're talking about. I converse a bit more with ChatGPT, but we continue to go around in circles. The point here is not that ChatGPT is bad. It's a brilliant piece of work, and ChatGPT gets similar problems correct. Software like this will continue to get better. The point is that it doesn't think, at least not in the way that a human would define thinking. I think it's best summed up with a remark made decades ago by computer scientist Edgar W. Dijkstra. The question of whether a computer can think is no more interesting than the question of whether a submarine can swim. If you want to learn more, click on the thumbnail for the next video. Otherwise, check out the full Java playlist. See you in the next video.